All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to adjust your pop-up and notification settings and other general settings when it comes to your friends list, how people appear when they go online or offline, and also when they jump into a different game. Now, these used to be stored under Steam inside of your settings, but they have since moved straight into the settings panel underneath of the little gear. So to access these, we'll see to pop up in our friends list. And then up here at the top, there is this little gear that says manage friends list settings. Go ahead and click on that. And that'll bring up the settings. And the first section is the friends list. So the first one is how do you want your friends list name to be displayed? Do you just want it to be their nickname or do you want it to be, to be their nickname in parentheses uh, with the regular name? So example is like, Dave the, you know, face smasher is actually just Rick from accounting, and it would just say that, you know, their regular display name and then the nickname that you give them over here on the side. I like to have it just the nickname, that's how I remember people, so I leave it like that. You can group friends together by game, so if they're all playing a game together, like uh, my, my friends the Twins Plays are currently in Phasmophobia, you can do that. Um, you can hide offline friends in custom categories hide categorized friends and online offline friends, ignore away status when sorting friends, sign into friends list when Steam starts. You can turn that on or off. Uh, and then enable animated avatars and animated avatar frames. So that's something that's kind of nifty and kind of new is like, I've got one too, it's these crazy dancing mushrooms. Uh, you can enable that or disable that if it seems to be lagging your computer or just you don't like it. And then next up we have chat. This is just things like, do you want doc chats to the friends list so they pop out from the side or do you want them free floating windows? Open a new window for new chats rather than a tab. Don't embed images and other media inside of the chat. Remember my open chats. Always display timestamps in a 24 hour format. Disable spell check in chat message entry. Disable animated room effects. And then you can also change Chat filter preferences, whoa, okay. Oh, this is safety stuff, okay. So if you wanna do the various safety things like sexual or like other potentially gory violent content, your settings are in here when you click on that option. Good to know. Um, after that, we have the size and scaling, compact, friends list and chat view, so it's like small and cozy, yes, no, and then make it, the favorites area compact, yes, no, and then you can pick small, default, or large chat font size. I actually might go with large on my newer monitor. Uh, and then you got notifications. Do you want a notification when a friend joins a game, when a friend comes online? Uh, do you want them when I receive a direct chat message? I, yeah, I say yes, I want a sound and a notification. Um, and when I receive a chat room notification, just show me a notification. Uh, group entry or group events and announcements, yes, no. Uh, and then flash the window when I receive a chat message, always, only when minimized, and never. And then voice, you can set up a microphone test so you can see, oh, wow, that was echoey. Basically, you can test to see what your sound, your voice sounds like when you click on that button. It's really loud. I'm not going to do that on, on video. Um, default voice device is uh, Yeti Pro, default output is my headset, and then here is the volumes that you can control for that if you find yourself using this a lot. Um, voice transmission type, let's do a push to talk, and then my push to talk is usually the tilde key, and then when your mic is on, we won't transmit noise below this threshold. Medium is probably fine. And then if I want, they've got some advanced section or settings down here that you can control as well. So that in a nutshell is how you can control all of your Steam friends list settings. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. There's only a couple settings in each category and they're usually pretty well explained. If you have any questions about all of that, uh, usually if you Google it, Steam has a pretty good FAQ section that goes into more detail. Otherwise, I will try to answer your questions when I can. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got a Discord and all that good stuff, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.